Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've just pulled up outside my mum's house because I'm picking her up because we're going to go shopping. Basically my mum texted me to see what I was up to today because it's my day off and I just said oh I'm going to head out to a few shops to try and find Laura a present for her new flat. Just like a little moving in gift and then I also need to get her like a new home card. And then mum was like oh do you mind if I tag along because she also needs to get something for Laura. Uh, so that is the plan for today. Today it's raining really heavily. It has been for like the last week and my jacket that I normally wear with a hood is in the wash but I think I left my other one at my mum's so I'm hoping that it's here um because it was the one that I was wearing whilst I was helping her paint the fence like a couple weeks or maybe months ago I can't even remember how long ago it was now but I'm hoping that it's here because um yeah I definitely don't want to wear a coat in this weather um, because it's just going to get ruined and also it doesn't have a hood so I'm hoping that my rain jacket is here. So yeah I will bring you guys along, hopefully we find nice gifts for Laura and hopefully today I get to see her flat because that's her moved in now so I'm so excited to see what it looks like. So I'm at the retail park with my mum now. <laughs> and we went to the range and I managed to find something for Laura straight away but mum is still looking for something. We saw a plant in here that we liked, didn't we? Yeah. But did like the plant? are you just not sure if it's perfect? <laughs> I just... I don't know. Because we like it but we don't know if Laura will like yeah. it. I think I have, she would. I don't know. How, what? I might get her something for the garden, but it's just hard yeah. to get something, isn't it? Yeah, you had something in mind, yeah. I think that's what it is, and we just can't find the thing that she has in mind. Um, but we also went to the card shop, got cards for her, and then we also got a balloon for yeah. Granda, because tomorrow is my dad's birthday, which would have also been my Granda's birthday. So we're going to uh, take a balloon to the cemetery and then let it go, just in memory of him, so that'll be nice. So we'll do that tomorrow after work. Um, but we got a really nice balloon, didn't we? Yeah, a lovely nice. colour. Um, it's a special, a special birthday. Yeah, we yeah. miss him so much, so it'll be nice to do something in memory of yeah, him, won't it? It'll be, we'll get yeah. some nice flowers. And, yeah, yeah, so that's what else we have yeah. to find, some flowers for him. Um, but yeah, we're just in next just now looking for some stuff for Laura. But I saw this that I really liked, but for me. <laughs> it would go so well with mine and Michael's living room. No, I was saying for me and Michael. Oh, me? Oh, right, I thought you meant Laura. Laura likes elephants. Oh, does she? I love elephants. We all do. Yeah, we do actually. Because there's that one. Yeah. Yeah, they're so cute. Because there's that one in the range that I keep on seeing that I love. Every day I pass it, I'm like, because it's just like such a cute little baby one. So cute. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Yay. What are you saying, cute? Oh yeah. On the tripod. That would maybe be nice for a living it's room. Oh, but does she have a unit to put it on? She does have a unit. Hmm. She's got a dress for here. It's got some Daniel's. Oh yeah, she got Daniel's one. So I wonder... Oh, that might be nice then. That might be a nice idea. Just have a bit of mustard with a plant. Yeah. What, both? Yeah. Oh wow, you're spoiling her. <laughs> I think Maybe then. Nice. Yeah, that is nice. So, of course, we're in Costa because do I ever meet up with you, Mum, and not go to Costa? I don't think so. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, don't apologize. <laughs> this is my favorite place to be. So, we literally both got the same thing. We got the cheese and tomato toasty, and then we got these, which are, uh, I think they're quite new in. They're called the Celebration Muffins. I've had one before, but Mum hasn't. They're so good. Is it going to be chocolate in the middle? Of course it does, Mum. Oh, and then Mum got a latte and then I got a hot chocolate. That um, hot chocolate looks lovely. It's so nice. I, I normally get a small, but I don't know why I said medium, because it looks massive now. <laughs> like, it look, Mum's like, is that a large? Because it looks massive. But Mum, you get a medium latte. It's just because you don't normally get that Yeah, small. and the small one is pretty so tiny. Like the medium and I thought... They've given you the wrong. The medium and the seed, I thought, that must be the large. Yeah. <laughs> They made a mistake for your first one, didn't they? they put yeah, they put cream in it, and yeah. I felt really bad because they were like, Oh, do you mind just still having it with like cream? And I don't like it with cream, so I was like, oh, Do you mind remaking it? But I felt really bad. But you know what also happened to me that's so embarrassing when we were in the range? <laughs> uh, There's this woman wearing like, what would you call it, a high vis jacket. Yes, and so I thought that she worked there because everyone else that worked there was wearing a high vis jacket, and then mum wanted to know the price of this thing. So I was like, Hi, excuse me, could you tell me the price of this? And she was shaking her 
had those at once. She's like, I don't work here. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Oh my god, I my face must have been so red. I'm glad you thought as well. I felt so embarrassed. Oh, and another thing to tell them is my jacket. I was saying to them, oh, hopefully I left my jacket at Mum's because it's so rainy. But thank goodness it's a nice day because guess what? Mum put my jacket to the clothes bag. <laughs> It's because I had all the paint clothes, I washed them all, yeah. put them all in a black bag and I said, oh to Laura last week, remember me to tell Lucia about uh, washed your clothes. Yeah. She said she didn't want anything back but I'm sure she might want this job put back. Yeah. And Laura and I completely forgot and when I got home an hour later I was like, oh my god Lucia, Lucia might put the clothes in the clothes bag and my jacket was on it. No. My rain jacket is so such a good sorry. one. That's I fine. I thought, I thought, why is she? I thought if I was that size, I'd be keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll I'll get another one. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. It'll go to good use. Someone will get it and make good use of it. But it's funny because Mum was like, "Should we go try and, and get it back?" I'm like, "What's she gonna do? Go inside the clothes bag?" Yeah. <laughs> So we're in B&M and I just saw this toy and there's pastel colours and Laura loves like pastel coloured things for Lola so I was like oh I wonder what it does I pressed this button and I literally got the fright of my life and I'm just <laughs> being peeing herself laughing because it literally goes wait it's not working there <laughs> and I passed it to her and she's like it's so crazy I was like I should get it for Lola but like <laughs> <laughs> that would scare a baby. <laughs> oh my god. Do you think I should get it? Wait, six ninety nine. Oh, it's fine. It <laughs> what the hell? No wait, three years plus, no wonder. <laughs> Wiggles for motor skills. Oh my gosh, it scared me. <laughs> it's so powerful. Well, I think you'd put it on the floor so it would move. Oh, it's not right. for them to hold and just be like, strengthen their muscles. It's because I wasn't expecting it. I got such a fright. Oh, oh my man. gosh, that was terrifying. Oh, That's why you shouldn't press buttons so you don't know what things do. <laughs> So it's now just after 6 p.m. and that's me just got back home. It took us quite a while to go to like the different shops that we had to go to just because they were all sort of in different places so they're quite far spaced out because we ended up going to like the bigger B&M in Inverness and that's like not like quite a bit out but it's like you have to cross over town and the traffic's like yeah it's just really busy and there's a lot of traffic so it took us a while to get there and then I didn't film but we also went to go outdoors because I wanted to try and get some proper like walking boots um because I pretty much go out for a walk every evening or like on my days off I try and go in the morning um but yeah basically I've got into walking a lot and I don't have proper walking shoes so I just wear these boots that I got from Primark that are not for walking at all because they're not well I was gonna say they've got a heel but like they're not high heels so don't worry but they do have like quite a bit of a platform and they're just not comfortable to walk in but the only other thing I have is trainers which is fine if the weather's nice but like I said earlier today the weather's just been horrible so when I go in the woods I really need like wellies or walking boots and I was gonna get wellies but a lot of people have said they're not really comfortable to walk in yes they're great for like when it's muddy and there's puddles and stuff like that but I think I want to invest in some walking boots but we didn't have any luck finding any walking boots for me because I don't think there was a pair of shoes in that shop that was left in my size. All that was left was like size four in every shoe or like size eight. It was just completely like opposite ends. Um, so yeah, there was nothing left in my size. But I like looked online whilst I was in the shop and they seem to have a lot of like shoes in a size six online. So I think I might just try and order it. I had such a nice day with my mum. We had such a laugh and yeah, it was just a really great day. I always love spending time with her as you guys know. Um, but it was a really successful shopping day because we got everything we needed for like Laura's like moving in gifts, my dad's birthday, um, like our 
my granddad's first birthday without him being here like we got uh, flowers and stuff for the cemetery and a balloon like I was talking about so tomorrow after work I'm going with my mum and I think maybe my sister's coming i'm not sure and we're just gonna let off a balloon in memory of my granda at his cemetery um like at his grave and then like put nice flowers on it and stuff my battery just died but as i was saying yeah it was just a really good day got everything that we needed to i actually didn't get a chance to see laura's flat though um so i'm hoping that i get a chance to see that um on my next day off because I'm just really looking forward to seeing it and like seeing what she's done with it and stuff and yeah I love I love seeing like new houses and new flats and stuff I literally love sitting on right move and um zoopla and just looking at properties even though like I'm very content where I am it's just a hobby of mine so um yeah I'm just excited to see it inside Laura's flat but anyways I need to stop waffling because I'm actually going out for a walk just now um because this is really exciting but I don't know if you guys have heard of a website called borrowmydoggy.com. This isn't sponsored or anything like that. Um, it was actually my sister that told me about it because I'd never heard of it before. Um, but I think my sister had seen it advertised on like Facebook or something. And she knows how much I've missed like having the company of a dog whilst I go out for a walk. So she told me about it and I signed up to it. So about a week ago, I met up with this guy who's the owner of this beautiful dog. Like she is so gorgeous and I went out with a walk um with him and his dog and then yesterday i took her out on my own for a little walk and then i'm gonna do the same again tonight so yeah it's just this website where people who want to walk dogs and spend time with dogs um they sign up and then it's also a website where people who own dogs who need a little bit of like extra help maybe with someone walking them in the evening or someone i don't know providing daycare and like company for them during the day um so you just sign up make a profile and say like someone comes across your profile and thinks oh you'd be a great match for what i'm looking for they can contact you and then you can meet up and see if like that's what you're looking for so yeah it's a really cool website because the owners get that little bit of extra help that they need in the evenings or whenever it might be and um people like me who love going out for walks and who love dogs get you know doggy cuddles and they get to spend time with dogs and yeah i just think like being around animals is just so good for your mental health and like i say it's just some company for me when i'm out for a walk anyways um so i'm gonna head out for a bit and pick up the little doggy well i say little doggy she's huge she is so strong um so i'm gonna go pick her up and we're gonna go out for a nice walk in the woods Hence why I need some good walking boots. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head out for a bit and do that. And I'm so excited to see her because I literally love her. She is so cute. Her owner keeps on saying, oh, you've got a little pal there. Cause she like has just taken to me so quickly, which is so nice. Um, so I'm gonna quickly get a snack before I head out to take her for a walk. So it's now about nine o'clock. I got back from my dog walk about half an hour ago and then I just literally threw some food in the oven because I'm so hungry. Um, and I'm about to watch a YouTube video whilst I'm eating my dinner because I just, oh, it's so nice to sit down um, and I need to like shower after this and then make my lunch for tomorrow for work and then it'll pretty much be bedtime. So this is the only chance I have to watch something. So I was like, I just balance my phone against the wall. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and this is my dinner. I've got the tomato and broccoli quiche, which I've talked about a lot because it is amazing. I've got, I think this is root vegetable mash and then a bunch of veg because I do love veg. Um, but yeah, I literally had such a nice time out walking. I just went um, for a walk in the woods. My camera is literally so bad at focusing and my nose stud is poking out. Um, but yeah, I was away for about two hours maybe more and it was just so nice like I literally love walking like ever since lockdown I've just yeah I just love getting some fresh air um and it was so nice like it's been so nice those last couple of days just having a little doggy friend um to join me on my walk and she was so good for me today like listening so well and 
just walking beautifully and oh my gosh i'm gonna cry i'm so happy um to have a dog friend again <laughs> so i'm now in bed i'm about to watch some youtube and eat some snacks just the usual what i do every single night um but yeah i'm just gonna end this vlog here i also just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who um messaged me on instagram to do with my last vlog when i mentioned that i was having toothache because a lot of people um that like worked as a dentist or like used to work as a reception in a dentist and stuff were really helpful and they reached out to me um so thank you so much if you were one of them um just basically lots of yous were saying to me to get an emergency appointment and um I actually did end up having to get an emergency appointment because the pain just got worse and the swelling got worse and it ended up that um like they took an x-ray and my wisdom tooth is growing in like squint so it's growing in at this angle which is pushing the tooth beside it which is what um, was causing the pain and then the other thing that was causing pain was that there's like an opening in my gum it's hard to explain but I tried to explain it to like my mum and Michael and the way I described it to them was that I can literally lift my gum with my tongue um so when i went to the dentist they said that yes there's an opening and then like what would be causing the pain and the swelling was that food was getting in there and getting trapped and stuck and then that can cause like infection and obviously like when i brush my teeth i can't get inside my gum um so they like cleaned it out properly for me and then they gave me this like syringe that i have to um, use every night to clean it out that actually gets into the opening of the gum um, so yeah I'm so glad that I went because literally the next day the pain was like so much better and then it, like a couple of days after that it went away completely but yeah I'm so glad I ended up going to the dentist it took so much persuasion from Michael for me to uh, phone the dentist for an emergency appointment just because I didn't want to like waste their time even though I was in so much pain I just felt like oh there's probably someone who's in worse pain and you know they'll need an appointment more or I was worrying like what happens if I go into the dentist and then they're like oh there's nothing wrong such a wimp um so i was like overthinking that but michael literally had to force me to phone for an emergency appointment so i'm kind of glad that he did that um because yeah i just felt so much better afterwards so yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you did please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and i will see you guys again very very soon for another vlog bye